Hello, Mr. Jesse here again with another tutorial by Aspire Art Studios. Today we are going to be drawing this uh, really happy Chef Pikachu over here. All right. Uh, again, uh, you are going to need the following items. All right. Uh, you're going to need your uh, pencils, your erasers, your sketchbook, a sharpie, some oil pastels this time, and a black color pencil. Okay, preferably Prisma. All right. For the oil pastels, we would prefer it if you did get the um, the the Pentel 50 over here. All right, it's the standard ones we use here at the studio. Now I will be doing this uh, digitally, so um, I will be trying to imitate the colors as closely as possible. So part of the challenge would be for y'all, as students, to go find colors as similar as you can to the ones that I have in my image. Okay. So uh, go ahead and get these items, uh, feel free to pause the video, and uh, unpause it when you're ready, and we'll begin. Okay, let's see. So let's turn these off first, and let's make a, I'm going to make a new layer, so we can get started sketching. Alright, and then let's go get my pencil. So I have a nice pencil I like to use over here and uh, try to draw lightly so and try to draw very clean too okay you can start off sketchy but you have to clean it up later all right but uh, first things first I am going to draw the table and then afterwards what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw the body all right and then make sure that the body is quite in the middle you can actually have it kind of come out like this kind of like a hill get your eraser clean that up see what I mean that's what I mean by cleaning up okay be clean otherwise it's gonna be confusing later and then what we can do next is we can get the head in all right and make sure everything is in the middle and then you can draw a line going down clean up your shape there we go body just a little bit smaller perfect and then we got our uh, our Pikachu base all right now the reason why you want to start off with these shapes over here is because these are the ones that are the biggest that we see so they're gonna take up the most space in the image all right now um, after you have these kind of like laid out it'll be a lot easier to find out how big everything else needs to be so the next biggest thing I'm going to kind of like draw in will be the hat kind of like that there we go okay and then we'll draw some guidelines on Pikachu feel free to clean up your lines if they don't look good to you really bothering me and what I'm gonna do now is start getting the divisions on my table so I do want to have a space for my cooking utensils and uh, I do want to have a uh, space for my stove so I'm going to divide I'm gonna make these two boxes very similar in size and then the one over here is going to be a little bit smaller but it's gonna be just enough for our salt and pepper all right now after you uh, have this kind of drawn in, we can start drawing the hands and the ears, or the arms, sorry. So, it's like a round shape here, and then another round shape down here. And then we'll start getting in the ears. And if you don't know how to draw the direction of the ears, I would recommend, I'm gonna move my Pikachu to the middle a little, just a little bit more. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to draw a line kind of coming out like this and then draw a line coming out like that Okay, and you want to make sure that these are the same height from the distance Okay, if you look at the shape in here, there's a little bit more on this side than this side. So mine's not symmetrical Try to make it as symmetrical as you can And don't forget we're gonna trace over this later. So don't worry if your sketch is a little bit messy that's totally fine this is just the base sketch all right it could be a little bit messier and then once you're done with that you just gotta wrap them around 
There we go. And then let's add these shapes right here. The chef's hat. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to start putting in the tail. And Pikachu's tail is kind of like a zigzag. Just like that. And then you can draw another shape that kind of follows the same pattern as that that top uh, the top check mark and it's gonna come down again just like a lightning bolt we actually want to lower his tail just a little bit more there we go awesome And what we're going to do next is we're going to draw these two lines up here and then start getting the nose for the face and the eyes too which are going to land right here and make sure they're equidistant from each other make sure they're equal they're, they're the same distance from the center out so over here just like that make sure they're the same size Two little white dots and then for the mouth I'm gonna curve two smiley faces and then one big smile in the middle awesome <laughs> that's looking really cool and then we're gonna draw two circles for the cheeks right there And then what we're going to start doing next is draw the spatula in. And I'm going to draw out a big square first and then connect it. Just like that. And then you can draw three lines in the middle. Good work. Let's erase this. Draw this line over here. And then from here and down. I'm going to draw some textures. Let's erase that out. <clears throat> Just like that. And then what we're going to do next is draw the bib. And then an apron. Just like that. Apron has to have straps that go around the waist. Make sure they come out from the other side too. Then on the apron, we can draw some wrinkles coming out from those corners. And then a Pokeball in the middle. Feel free to change the design if you want to, like a, like a heart, a heart Pokeball, kind of like that. That's okay too. All right, <laughs> just like that. And from here on out, you can start drawing in the salt and pepper. Careful with making them too big. There we go. Now what we're going to do next is start getting in some of the tools. So same with the tools. I always draw the biggest shapes first and then I draw the smaller shapes. Just like that. Awesome. And then we're going to do the ladle. There we go. Now if it's too close to the edge, erase it and try it again, okay? Like for me, this might be a little bit too close, so I might move it a little bit more to the left. <clears throat> Give it some room to breathe. 
what we're gonna do next is draw a circle right here for our pan and draw a little handle there we go just like that draw another circle inside and take your time a circle can be very very tricky and it's okay if it's a little bit rough you're gonna trace over this later all right just like that some designs for your stove There we go. S P draw a line right here. A line right here for the background. And over here, go ahead and draw the food that you want Pikachu to cook. Maybe this time you want fish. And maybe there are um, some other bits of food in there too. Be different stuff. Awesome. Now, once you have the sketch finished, feel free to clean up any shapes you want. So if you want to fix Pikachu's like face a little bit, just like that, you can. All right, and what we're going to do is we're gonna go get our Sharpie and we're gonna get started tracing. All right, so feel free to erase any lines that are confusing to you. And what we're gonna get doing, started doing now is we're gonna start outlining our shape. So For Pikachu, start off kind of outlining this way. Now, you don't have to outline very fast again, okay? Uh, I would outline a lot slower if um, you're not used to outlining. Otherwise, you could mess up quite a lot. I'm also using a computer so I can erase these outlines, but if you're using a Sharpie, well, I wouldn't recommend using any whiteout. So don't even think about that. At two circles if you want a really happy Pikachu. look so happy and then you can also color those in with the sharpies if you like <clears throat> if you mess up and you accidentally cover up the dots that's where you can use white out not the tape kind though unless you want your pikachu to have minecraft eyes there we go So cute. <laughs> Make sure you close your shapes and then you can start continuing to do the other parts of the tracing. And notice I didn't trace everything. I only traced certain areas that I wanted my sketch. So if you can see over here, I didn't trace that part. I actually want to fix that a little bit. His head's a little imbalanced. You start kind of doing these parts over here. Clean up. There we 
There we go. Start getting the table down. Make sure Pikachu's arm. The tail. I'm actually gonna fix the tail a little. I don't like that shape. I'm gonna like this shape a little bit more. Pikachu has some brown too, right? Just like that. Spatula. There we go. Let's get started doing the bid. The bib? Kids, trace slow. I can do it fast because I'm on the computer, but because I have many chances. But your sharpie is only going to give you one chance. Just have one there too. That's fine. Then we can start tracing the rest of the outfit. Just like that. If you want to, you can also get little pouches. There we go. Maybe like, Pichu has like a pair of chopsticks in here and I don't know, another something else. Maybe some napkins sticking out. Whatever you want. Maybe those are straws or something. Get a little bit of the salt shaker now. Let's get that. That lips. Some dots. There we go. The cap head. S for salt. Exact same thing down here, pretty much. Pepper, let's draw lines going over here. Let's divide everything first. Start working on our our butcher's knife. Do a good job tracing. Okay. There we go can be straighter. Our ladle in the kitchen. You can have like a line there too if you want to add like a, like a like a different gripper color. But yeah, if I turn off um, my under sketch, you can see that this is pretty much. Oh, there's a couple mistakes there, but you can see that this is pretty much almost done get those in. Well, that one was intentional. Start getting some of these uh, stove details. circle. I would trace a lot slower if you can. There we go. Get the pan handle over here. Awesome. Move this more into the a little bigger. Try to make sure that there's an equal spacing around 
some of the food now. There we go. Now what we can do now is we can start doing some coloring. Now you see I didn't color the background over there so what we're going to do is um, make sure to erase and then draw in a line right after with your oil pastel and with oil pastel I would recommend stay away from black until the very end because it could get really messy. So I'm just gonna erase all my pencil lines kinda like this There we go. And then over here in the back, right, you can erase them very lightly. Go ahead and grab a color of your choice. I want to use, um, I want to use a uh, red, like a pink, because, and I want to divide the uh, the sky with a uh, pink and white to kind of make it look like a pokeball. So that's why I want to do it. Then you can start filling up that back space with oil pastel. Make sure to get all of your white spaces. In fact, what I'm going to do actually is choose this brush. Good trick is to trace around your object and then it gives you a little bit more space to fill in things faster. Just like that. There we go. Got this top space filled too. You should get all your white spaces. Also, try to be as clean as you can. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have your background kind of filled in, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to get a yellow and we're going to start working on the Pikachu. Alright, so for this part, okay, as usual, grab a brighter yellow, alright, and then go ahead and start blocking in the Pikachu. Just like that. Try not to get into the eyes. Try to go around stuff. That's looking really nice. go and for the mouth what you can kind of do let's clean this up is you can get a dark red for the top part which is the inside and then for the tongue it could be a little bit lighter just like that let's go ahead and Fix those circles in the eyes too. They're not very clean. I'd like them to be really, really clean. This is where you actually can use white out to fix those, to fix these parts. Like if you want to grab black color pencil and redo it, that works. Start getting some red, filling in the cheeks. There we go. There we go. And what you can do is for the hat, 
You can choose your own colors, but I'm just going to go with white. You're going to get kind of like a gray, and what I want you to do is add a little bit of shadow. Then what I want you to do is get some white oil pastel, and I want you to add white oil pastel in the white parts too. Now, I can't show you how to do that digitally, but trust me, you want to do that because you don't want those textures to look different, okay? One's going to look like paper, one's going to look like oil pastel, and it's really, really a little bit strange to see that. There we go. Start working on Pikachu spatula. Make the spatula whatever color you want. If you want like a, like a, like a blue one, you can do that too. Start using grays, a light gray, all right, kind of for that. You can use the same light gray to kind of get this uh, this butcher's knife in. There we go. Awesome. And you can get a dark gray. And for the dark gray, not black, okay, dark gray, you can do it. do this for the pepper. For the scarf, you can choose your own color. Uh, I'm going to go with green. Just like that. And same for the apron. If you want to choose your own color, that's fine. If you want to leave it white, that's okay too. Awesome. There we go. Start doing the tail. Just like that. We'll put some napkins. Maybe uh, we'll get like a brown napkin in here. One of those recycled ones. And then for chopsticks, we can use like a lighter tan color. Kind of like that. For this part, same dark gray. There we go. Just like this. I have some red for the stove. Some silver or light gray for the outside and also for the inside. Good work. Actually, let's make the, the, the handle a little more fun bit more color there we go outside part over here can also be light gray and we're gonna need some brown for the backgrounds over here Preferably like a lighter one that's closer to orange. Whoops. Kind of like that. You can get other handle colors. Maybe you want this one to be a dark green. There we go, it's a dark green. That Pokeball. Right here too. Get some yellow greens, start kind of throwing those in, some oranges, Actually, I want the fish to be orange, it's going to be like a, a, a deep fried fish, or fried fish, then maybe some 
some reds, some pinks. There we go. Yum. What we're going to do is we're going to start doing our ladle just like that. And we're going to start adding a little bit of this dark gray coming down. There we go. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's get this table color over here. Now I want to be careful it doesn't get into my my salt, okay? So or or my pepper. So I want to make sure to color around it. So there we go. Perfect. Try not to get into it. All right. Try not to get out of the lines either. There we go. Let's awesome. Perfect. And right now, actually, I want to change this whole inside part. To actually also be this dark gray. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start filling in these shapes over here. So keep doing that. There we go. That looks good. Now, earlier I was saying you can add a little bit more to the clothes over here. Just kind of like a shadow. Very light gray. And then last but not least, now you can take your black and color in those ears to finish the image and what I want you to do is if you have any lines that you're covered up that are covered up by the oil pastel go and retrace them with the with that sharpened color pencil okay that will bring back the lines do not use a sharpie again it will ruin your sharpie and then you won't have a sharpie anymore unless you have a second sharpie but that's a waste of sharpie still um, Go and um, forgot to do this brown, so get a brown and don't forget to do the brown on the tail. But um, go and get uh, your sharpened color pencil and finish finish off uh, everything with a nice dark line, okay? And that'll really make your picture come out. 
otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to uh, drop by our studio and I hope to see you all again next time. Take care.